Soreness is not a good barometer of exercise quality because some types of training are going to induce more soreness and some are going to induce less. That's important to this conversation because when you ask about how do you know if a muscle is ready to train again, one of the questions is, well, what are you training for? If you're training for hypertrophy, we need to hedge towards recovery because what you're trying to do is cause a massive insult there, allow then protein synthesis to occur, building of new tissue, which takes time, 48 to 72 hours, like kind of at a minimum, that process needs to occur. If you're doing actually more strength, and this is a differentiation between hypertrophy and strength, then you didn't induce actually much damage. In fact, you're generally not going to get very sore from true strength training, very little, unless you get really heavy or you did a lot. The primary driver of hypertrophy is not the same primary driver of strength. We talked about that already. That's intensity driven. It, for, volume, it, for hypertrophy, it's not intensity. So because we have different mechanisms, we have different outcomes, even though they're closely aligned, strength is not gonna cause a lot of soreness. Therefore, intensity is the driver. Therefore, frequency can be as high as you want. So you can train every single day the same exact muscle